Good morning, everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the towers that I'm working on right now. It's uh, it's unit fusion uh, for Yam Sai Tung, and I found that project in one of the series that I bought for uh, Evolo skyscraper. It's the second edition. I think you can find uh, you can find an online references for it. And uh, it's it's really nice tower that I uh, I noticed it's a, it's made of a a, a cube uh, tower it's uh, twisted in the almost the middle uh, around 120 degrees that's the beautiful model made uh, I don't know just crazily detailed and so you see the tower is a bit twisted it's like the first uh, 15 level uh, are straight and the, the last 15 level also straight and then it started to rotate around 120 degree. Uh, it's, it's made of a, a parametric plan with uh, uh, two, uh, two rows actually that each row of them have a three or five units. This cubicle unit is just extruding out of the external uh, surface of the, of the tower uh, randomly as you can see and if you notice uh, I think the images is quite nice in here you see that they are randomly distributed uh, I can model them actually as an adaptive component but sadly uh, when I tried that they, the computer was went really slow and crashed down several times so I just replaced them by normal boxes which might get useful from the previous tutorial that I, we did about randomizing the height of uh, uh, boxes and how you can distribute that automatically on the surface and also randomize color them. Uh, it's really nice project again and uh, let's have a look. It uh, eventually should be uh, similar like that. I couldn't complete the adaptive component as I told you. It's just to substitute them by Applying boxes and changing the color. I also did not make the you know the the that wall which also have an adaptive component. It can be made out of adaptive component to create those balconies and uh, give this uh, closed outside. I just did add an automatic uh, floor at each level and that gives me this nice shape uh, parametric tower. Anyway, I'll show you uh, quickly the idea behind that and how it can be done uh, without getting into actually to the full detail of it, it's still developing it. Uh, so basically this is the plan that I wanted to show you. Uh, it's a fully parametric plan and uh, that's the main parameter for it. And in it you can go ahead and you know that define that X uh, that way and that's the X2 and then Y1, Y2, Y3. You can go ahead and change you know that's 20 it's uh, basically made out of you know this value and the rest so it's from here all the way to the middle and the rest will be uh, just a mirror geometry uh, that's a 20 I'll get it back 30 and uh, the X1 will be that bit you know that's sorry the Y1 uh, will be that bit I'll just exaggerate it to make it 40 and you can see that uh, this is the, the, the one we're talking about uh, the offset on the other hand is the amount that goes uh, like a five meter away from the main surface you can just make it smaller like three or two and you can see that uh, it worked perfect that's the first phase of the um, that's the first phase actually uh, that done in, 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 in dynamo in the second phase we need to repeat it vertically in the second phase guys you can have a look at uh, the geometry we have in here it's just based on the repetition of a 75 uh, level, uh, about 9 meter for each uh, uh, floor. I know it's high, but if you have a look at the images, you're going to notice that it's actually each unit is a double height, uh, you know, duplex. So that's why it goes 4.5 and for each level, making the overall 9. It's, I don't have an exact detail uh, out of the book, uh, so I just assumed some of the dimension, as you can see. It also I guess it, it's just 120 you can change that the result should be uh, as beautiful as you can see it's been a repetition here and uh, for like a 75 and then uh, a rotation uh, for it and the third phase actually have to do uh, the creation of a solid of that geometry let's let's have a look on how that can be done and here we have the solid actually being created and you can see it's been uh, you know the first 50 level 
is actually extruded normally and then twisted uh, around 120 degree and then continue with the same uh, 120 degree uh, of uh, rotation uh, you believe I believe that's uh, here you see that's the first uh, lower and upper level you can change that of course I just make the first 15 goes uh, as a straight and the last 15 also goes as straight you can uh, change that uh, I don't know maybe a uh, hundred and eighty degree and then you can go hit run and, and you're gonna get yourself a different a different shape and a different proportion from what I have uh, right here in this geometry is just uh, it's just a infinity amount of possibilities you can create by changing those three parameters by themselves excluding the ability to change the X and Y in detail that we have done which is you know I make it uh, longer or to make it exact square uh, let's see what what it gave us see as, as you can see it's have a different uh, different shape here uh, just made by changing that to 180 in the fourth phase I'm going to add uh, the adaptive component uh, on a specific uh, on a specific faces or surfaces and then after that I will go ahead and make the uh, sliced horizontally and create a rivet flow uh, immediately out of uh, the planes that we have or the level that we have and also going to include that random coloring for a green and white color for it so let's go for it and in the last phase as you can see uh, guys it's uh, generated uh, the, the geometry and then divided the selected surfaces as you can see into uh, uh, into uh, uh, into a group of uh, points and then added an adaptive component with a randomized height and randomized color for each one of them including also the creation of uh, slabs or floors uh, the required levels that's a camera perspective for it uh, sorry it's a camera not a perspective to it uh, I know just I said I left the, that area is open because I couldn't actually the moral of the whole thing uh, I just wanted to share with you the ability or the uh, how we can put the previous uh, couple of videos that we did about the coloring and the randomizing into a good example. If you have a, a better machine than mine, uh, you can just go ahead and model uh, the adaptive component as an entire, uh, you know, you know, flat instead of this just box. But I couldn't actually when I tried to apply that; it was really heavy. Uh, as you can see, that's the that's the geometry, and that's you can see you can. I really slow the, the machine that I'm working on and otherwise um, it's really really nice tower it's really beautiful design that I saw uh, in this uh, Evolo book series and um, you can see now the uh, the geometry has been uh, created uh, I just didn't complete for, for the other side of course and uh, I wish that you find this uh, useful and inspiring to go and try that by yourself probably uh, with a better hardware uh, than the one that I have to get a better result. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.